So welcome to the Topper Talk 2021. Today we have uh, Allah Seshar Sai Reddy with us. He is from Electrical yes, Engineering and he has secured AIR five in this examination, Engineering Service Examination this year, 2021. And uh, he is from actually Tenali, Andhra Pradesh, and he has done his BTEC from VNIT Nagpur. And presently, he is uh, working as a deputy manager in CIL, Chandrapur, Maharashtra. And he has taken Made Easy ESC Mains Online Batch 2020. And he has also taken Online Test Series Gate 2020. And he has also taken Interview Guidance Program of Made Easy. So in 2020, his rank was in uh, 1200 in Gate. And in 2022, he has secured All India Rank 21. And uh, for engineering service examination, uh, he were in the 2019, he was unable to qualify. Then in 2020, he qualified for the mains. He qualified the mains. And finally, in 2021, he has come from, uh, he has got a very good rank, that is fifth rank. So today, uh, we are going to discuss a few questions with uh, Sai Reddy. So before we start our interview, so uh, I will like to congratulate him on behalf of Made Easy and team. So many, many congratulations, Sai. Yes, sir. Okay. So congratulations, Sai. Uh, first questions that uh, we will we'll like to ask you, what was your reaction when you got the news that you have the uh, you have secured All India Rank 5th? I was actually speechless when I got to know that I have uh, got the All India Rank 5 in the examination. Actually, when I was uh, opening the uh, result in my mobile, my hands are shivering uh, and I was so much prepared to open the, actually the open the PDF. But after opening and going through it, I was so much uh, delighted on uh, seeing that I got the AR5. So, uh, you, uh, you have given the exam, you, you have expected that uh, your result will be good. But All India 5th rank, you I, I think I, you don't uh, uh, estimate it. Yes, sir. Actually, I have. Uh, I am I mean, confident that I will be getting through the uh, examination this year. But uh, getting in top ten, I did not expect uh, at any stage of the examination. So, what was your okay? So, uh, first in 2019, when you gave, you didn't qualify the prelims only. After that, you qualified the mains in 2020, and in 21, the rank is fifth. So, what was the strategy you have adopted? Because from not qualifying to prelims and then you are getting fifth rank. So it is a really very good thing that everybody, every student will uh, think of, right? So I just want to know what was your strategy? What was the preparation strategy that led you to get rank five, fifth? You you can st start with the step uh, like uh, for the prelims and after that. Uh, that means you can tell your strategy like first you tell about the prelims, how you uh, coped up the prelims examination, then what was your strategy for mains and then finally for the interview. Sir, actually, I have given a ESC 2019 examination. Sir, actually, I have not prepared at all for the examination. I just uh, given without preparation. I went to the examination I have given. And uh, I have been able to score well, sir. And I was uh, just 20 marks short of the cutoff at that time. So that gave me initial confidence that uh, with proper preparation, I can able to clear it. And uh, after the 2019 prelims examination, I, get, I have seen, uh, sat down and I have um, noted all the points where I was lacking. Uh, for, uh, in the examination and I have noted down all my weak areas, weak points and weak subjects which I need to improve a lot. And in the for the 2020 examination, in the for the prelims, my I have realized that the general studies paper I was very poor. So I focus mainly on general studies and some technical subjects also some like communication and signals I was not able to perform well. So I have focused more on these subjects in the 20 in the for 2020 examination. And as a result, I have performed well in prelims in 2020, but uh, for mains, uh, due to some disturbances uh, and the COVID uh, pandemic period, I was unable to study properly for the mains examination. And uh, as a result, I have not able to clear the mains. And also, I have not uh, given any test series for mains examination, which has been a biggest drawback for me on the day of the examination in the 2020 mains exam. So again, I have, uh, after the examination, again, I have realized what are the mistakes that I have done. And uh, I have... Uh, this time for the 2021 examination, I have uh, I have given very so much of a uh, question booklet, question come booklet, answer uh, series. I used to practice a lot on that, and uh, consequently, I have uh, been able to perform well in the mains examination this year. Uh, you have uh, you are working in Coal India, na? Yes, sir. Uh, 
so when did you join the coal india sir i joined right after my uh, btech sir i joined in 2017 okay and so from there uh, from there i have been working till date you are working in coal india as of now yes sir i am working as of now so how you are managing the uh, the uh, the job and your preparation simultaneously sir uh, i have made a schedule sir i actually i i do, I do not get very long uh, study hours but whatever the time that i get uh, i used to utilize it a lot like i used to de de make a constant 4 hours st study i used to make constantly in every day sir in the morning two hours and in the evening two hours i used to study daily and in the weekends uh, in the holidays and the weekend period i used to study for 6 to 8 hours a day so you are saying that uh, uh, so if... yes sir you are saying that uh, if you study for hour a day on average uh, for one two years uh, you will be able to get good rank in engineering service there is no need of so actually uh, I... no sir i think uh, the thing that i the, the mistake that i have done in the 2019 was that I, i don't have any proper guidance i have prepared on my own but the i have realized that the proper guidance is needed and as a result i have joined medici examination medici for 2020 and uh, medici has given me a right direction that we should focus only what topics we need to focus for the examination because we, the syllabus is very vast sir we cannot uh, study each and everything and being a working professional i don't have that much time to cover all the uh, entire syllabus so for 2020 mains batch that i have done in medici has helped me a lot and uh, the notes that the medici has provided uh, it, has, it has been very helpful sir in for the 2021 examination i have just revised the uh, notes of medici of the past year and it has helped me in clearing the examination this time so you 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 have uh, prepared separately for gate uh, and engineering service or there is some uh, uh, you simultaneously you focus for gate and engineering service is there any no, sir, actually uh, my major focus was only on engineering services sir i have given gate just to know where i stand in the competition and how i well i am posed with my technical skills so as i have been writing esc conventional papers for quite some time uh, i am uh, able to perform well in gate examination i have not, not at such prepared exclusively for gate examination how was your interview so the interview in my case sir the interview was mostly about my work experience sir they have focused mostly on my work experience being i have almost 5 years of work experience so they focused on some technical things and uh, electrical they have asked questions on electrical vehicles and uh, they have mostly focused on my work areas and i would like to say that i have also joined the medis the interview guidance program sir and uh, it has helped me a lot sir actually the power systems uh, and measurements have been taught by balaji sir in the interview guidance program and uh, sir has uh, taught the latest technologies that are used in the current day and it has helped me and the questions that are one or two questions that are asked in the interview are directly from the sir's notes so it also helped me a lot too so uh, if you want to suggest something for the yes. current students how okay. to prepare because for the uh, mains examination uh, or the prelims examination the main focus is for the machine power system power electronics and all those stuff isn't it so uh, what will be your suggestion how to yes, prepare sir. those core subjects means in a easy way in easy manner because lo lots of student ask how to prepare they go for the uh, class notes apart from the class note they solve some uh, textbooks standard textbooks so did you follow any standard textbook if yes then which one and what is your strategy or what is your opinion about how to prepare these core subjects sir actually i have not followed any standard textbook sir i have made my notes sir morally sir has thought uh, for conventional morally sir has thought the machine sir sir has thought very beautifully the machine topic sir actually i have been able to analyze the machine after watching the sir's lectures and uh, i have only by take solved the made easy classroom questions and i have solved the previous year questions of the esc conventional papers sir i have not uh, as such followed any sort of uh, textbooks or reference books i have not followed sir but uh, medici class notes is sufficient for uh, cracking the examination i feel sir and as such i do not i even do not get enough time to study a uh, standard textbook also so how many uh, previous years how many years question you have done for uh, engineering service examination previous years questions sir i have done approximately for the last 10 to 12 years questions i have, uh, 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 I have prepared sir for common subject you have done both for electrical and ec or only for electrical 
no sir uh, i have confined myself only to electrical engineering uh, actually uh, with the limited time that is available for me i focused only on electrical only and how you prepared your gs because general studies you know 100 around 100 marks if you get it's very uh, the, it seems to be it's very good out of 200 190 if it comes then it is very good in gs so how so how, you, how many marks you are expecting this year in in, in gs, GS. Mm, sir as per the key that was provided by medici after the examination uh, i think i was scoring around a 94 or something sir 90 to 94 something i, I was scoring i think, I think uh, um anywhere near to 100 is a good marks in gs okay yes, sir and actually before the examination sir this time medici has conducted a revision program uh, through online sir and in that uh, medici has revised all the general studies topics so i have followed their courses sir ap singh sir has started the current affairs and sunil kumar tiwari sir has started the uh, electrical materials subjects and uh, i have watched those lectures sir and i have prepared notes in those topics and uh, uh, the questions have also came directly from the notes uh, took three four questions and uh, in that way and also i have prepared uh, i am good at mathematics and uh, aptitude part i was good so i was able to perform well in those topics so as a whole i was able to perform relatively well in the gs paper sir this time so uh, what was your means uh, before examination for writing esc mains so one month before what was your mindset how to miss how much syllabus was covered how much left what was your strategy how you have revised key concept because there are so many things you have to revise isn't it So how did you do it? So uh, as such, for one month before the examination, I think uh, I was still left with three, four subjects. Sir, I think I was left with main subjects like machines and power electronics. Uh, those two subjects I have not revised. I was studying one month before the examination. So I have covered those two subjects uh, in the ne- next fifteen days, and in the last fifteen days, uh, last ten days before the examination, I have revised uh, once all the subjects, sir. So, did you make any short notes for the uh, last moment preparation, sir? Uh, I have not as such made any short notes, sir. Uh, but uh, in the uh, conventional uh, booklet only, where, where the questions that I feel that there is some sort of difficulty, I have written a, uh, those uh, formulas and the questions, the concept in a separate paper, sir. The tricky questions, what I feel, uh, I have uh, made a separate notes only for those type of questions, not as such any short notes I have prepared. Do you have any plan for civil services? What is your next plan? We yes, are sir, not. I am hoping. What is? <laughs> yeah, sir. Actually, my major next plan is to target civil service examination, sir. I hope that I will join the next IS Academy and uh, hope to clear the civil service also. You will future. take optional as electrical engineering only. Yes, sir. I will take optional as electrical engineering only. Many students are now opting for uh, civil service uh, civil service examination with the technical background only. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. <coughs> so uh, now, uh, what is the two three points you will you uh, you will give uh, to the uh, the Stud- present present students? What in two three uh, sentences? If I want to ask you, what what are those two three points okay. that you need to give to the coming uh, the current student? For the selection in engineering service or for selection in gate, two three points. If if I want to ask you, okay, sir, fine, sir. Uh, I feel that the first thing that we must have is that uh, we must have self confidence in ourselves, sir. Because uh, engineering services is a three stage examination and it takes a very large process, and we need to be self confident about our, ourselves. And it is the most important thing that I feel that one is needed. and second thing is that uh, we must not uh, we must be consistent in our preparation we must not i feel that we must not give up in our preparation at some point of time see even in my case also if i had given after 2020 mains examination i think i may not not achieved ar5 in this year so we should rectify from the mistakes that we have taken and we must go forward in our preparation that is another major step that i think the student must make in his preparation according to you so consistency is the key and yes, what sir, about your revision strategy key, revision strategy sir actually uh, i don't have any such revision strategy sir i used to whenever i feel uh, bored in a subject i when i was preparing one subject but when i used to feel bored about uh, in subject then i will stop for, uh, for that subject and uh, the previous subject that i have completed then i used to revise in between those two subjects sir like so, sir, in between the subjects i have tried to cover 
ఏరియా <laughs> and actually i am strong in my core electrical subjects are like machines and power systems and power electronics i am very strong in the topic and uh, the digital part and the communication part and signals part i am somewhat uh, no, not that much strong in those topics so when did you uh, have the idea that you'll you'll try for the engineering service you got the idea that you'll try for engineering service in your college days or after the uh, uh, getting okay. into this uh, this cool india limited actually during my college days also i have a dream of being an engineering service officer but since i got job in my campus placement itself in coal india limited uh, and being a, it being my first uh, job i want to give, make my uh, total uh, 100% effort towards the job and i have worked for the next couple of years uh, in that uh, immersed in that job sir and later i have realized while working there that uh, the job that is offered in engineering services is much more diversified and a uh, much more techno manager role as compared to my ca- current job and then after uh, after the two years i have started preparing for engineering services uh, and effectively i have started preparing for engineering services from 2019 only sir so what is uh, uh, your work profile in coal india limited are you satisfied what are you doing in coal india limited sir uh, my work profile in coal india limited is to uh, maintain a coal is to ma- do a operation and maintenance of a coal handling plant and to maintain uh, make the maintenance of a substation so i was very much satisfied with my work culture sir it's more it's i would like to say it's more of a managerial type of job than a technical the technical thing will be there ultimately but it's not as much as uh, that we expect uh, it and uh, it's more of a managerial kind of thing and we will be having a better uh, and in my five years of working in coal india limited i have gained a um, huge experience in the man- uh, manpower management uh, skills and the uh, material management skills and i think it will be useful for my lifetime career also even if i join in services so do, uh, any way uh, uh, the working in coal india limited has helped you in any way in getting this rank in any way do you feel it that has... just not sir it has uh, given me the motivation to study for the i would say that it has given me the consistency and motivation to study for the examination okay many many congratulations sai okay. okay uh hopefully we will meet again when you will crack civil service examination and we will do one more topper stock mm-hmm. so all yes, the best sir, for sure. your future and many many congratulation to you and to your family okay have sir. a healthy and happy life okay sai so thank, see you soon thank you sir thank you sir so much